I'm in a bit of a shoddy mood today and I'm going to take it out on my sins. We're in Brichester, or Brightchester, and let's just get rid of this build. The pack I probably acknowledge the most is the university pack, so I'm going to make some really crappy university studio apartments. I'm popping down two long rectangles and then I'm just going to go from there. <laughs> Right, and I want some stairs up to the front door, so let's pop some stairs in. I've been looking at the surrounding builds and they all have sort of rounded front doors, so I'm trying to find a round front door that I like. Hmm. So this one's pretty cute with the green, so let's do that. I don't know if I'll keep the green. This is exactly how thin it's going to be so you can imagine how crappy the studio apartments are going to be maybe not crappy but definitely cramped so i just went ahead and did the outside i'm just making it look a little bit prettier now the intention that i have with this build is it's going to be a quick one so it'll be a quick video too and you know what this block looks nice like it's not the best but it looks nice so i'm even having trouble being mean to my sims I think I'm actually going to implement this build with the for rent pack that's coming out next week and I'm going to have a crappy old grumpy man as a landlord and we can just be a slumlord. I think I'm just going to furnish the one and then you can see what the rest look like in the tour at the end. But um, yeah, we'll start with this one that's just inside the front door. So we'll do the bathroom. I'm just looking for some sconces for the wall and tell me why this one comes out so massive. That's not natural. No one's going to have that size on their wall. Okay, pop in our beautiful dated shower bath. This sink kind of matches the vibe. It's a nice sink though. Don't know if my sims deserve it. I think I'll use this dream within a dream tile because it reminds me of Inception and I like that movie. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the apartment. Now, I don't know how I'm going to lay this out right now, but I do know that I want one of those fold-out beds, so I'm going to flop one of those in. So, because this is going to be rented out as university housing, I'm keeping it bare minimum, so there's not going to be any, like, personalized clutter. I'm not going to add any of that in. I think I will add clothes onto this rail, though, just for the look of it. Um, we can just pretend that the last tenants left their clothes there or something. They were in such a rush to get out, they just left their clothes and the landlord didn't remove it, of course. Let's try to make a tiny entryway. Like somewhere you can put your keys and your coat. Yes, the woven doormat does come as part of your apartment, but it does add an additional 10 simoleons onto your rent. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Yeah, we'll supply some window dressings, but it's not going to cover the entire window. I know this is meant to be a shoddy apartment, but I cannot deal with how this curtain is clipping with the bath, so we're going to have to rearrange some stuff. The TV will be an additional 50 so I forgot an oven! Oh my god. Tempted to just leave the oven out, to be honest, but no. You will receive a complimentary laptop with your stay. Um, complimentary means it's an additional 200 simoleons a week on your rent. Towels provided for a hefty fee of 5 simoleons a week. Plus some cups, salt and pepper and some pans. Can't confirm if any of these have been washed. An additional 15 simoleons a week. And here comes our mean landlord sim. He's got a couple apartment inspections today, so he's got to put the bed down so it looks, you know, better. Well, thanks for joining me on this low energy build today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.